drawing. I try. I thought that it would show up better on here, but I don't know if it really is um, showing up that well. But hopefully, y'all were able to. Hi. Um, hopefully, y'all will be able. Are y'all were able to save it? Or like I said, if you found a different picture that you um, that you liked better, I we were just down there, and this bird was right there, and so I snapped it real quick. Um, we are going to be using pencil to start with, pencil. and then um, we have some pens here. Um, but you can do this with just pencil if you want. You can do it if you have colored pencils. That would be awesome. Um, you can, if you have watercolors and you want to get crazy and watercolor it, then by all means, normally I would do something like that, but I'm going to stick to straight drawing today. Um, this is the one that I did um, kind of last night as an example, which I posted that in... We're going to try to recreate it for y'all. Um, I'm going to move the camera so that hopefully y'all can see my hands and my paper and the girls' papers. Um, and we'll get started. Yay, I like crayons. I love crayons. People don't use crayons enough. So that's amazing. Okay. So... I'm gonna move this one and put this one kind of over here so it's not distracting. Um, we just have regular drawing paper here. I put these other papers underneath because this table is kind of rough and it's hard to draw and I need oh. to scrape it. Ooh, um, can I have you scrape it? We, um, we're just using regular, regular paper. It's drawing paper, but any paper that you have will be fine. Um, the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to draw this. Can y'all see this picture right here? No. You're looking at it right <laughs> here. It's in front of your face. Um, Sophia, mm. hold on, guys. My child just touched something <laughs> and ruined the picture here. You touched um, the screen, my too. Child is so anyway, <laughs> we're going to draw this area that the bird is sitting on first just to kind of give a reference it's of where... Day where um where you want to start again if you have another picture that you're looking at you can kind of go off of that i'm just going to do this line right here kind of a slanted line um and i'll hold my paper up once i draw it but kind of somewhere over in this region kind of like that can you see my can you see my um hi guys um there's a line right here. Here, I'm gonna draw a little darker than I normally would just so y'all can see the line. Can you see that line? <laughs> so make kind of like a triangle. Again, if you're using another picture for reference, then you put your ground wherever you want it to be. Um, Katha, or is this Max or is it both of y'all on here? Is it everybody? Is this picture, if this is blurry? Um, I don't know how to make that better. Sorry, guys. Tomorrow, I'm going to, if I do one tomorrow, I'm going to try to um, do it through YouTube and see if that works better. Mm -hmm. um, so, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the top of the bird and kind of work mm -hmm. our way down. So, let me move this back up here. We're going to start up here. So this page that I drew on last night is about the same size as this one that um, we're working on today. So if you're using just a standard piece of paper size like this, you want to kind of start, you're going to kind of start with this bird's head kind of over to the far-ish right of your page, okay? Oh good, you have a photo. Okay. So I'm going to start up here and it's their heads. No, we're going to start up with a little curve in the top of their head. These herons, they're, they kind of have little skinny heads. So you're going to kind of do a, just a lump piece of way over. Otherwise you're going to run out of space. So just a little thing like this. And remember, you're just sketching this first. So you want to start out with light pencil so that you can erase and do what you need to do with it. Like this? Or is it too big? Hey, guys. Uh, no, that's good. 
Okay. Yeet. So then you're gonna go oh, and go that's down. Fine. They got long necks like a flamingo or any kind of bird like that, a crane. And this is where you can kind of just get a little bit loose with it and make it go down. We're yes. gonna make it look more bird-like. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. You can make it go down a little bit terrible. more. It looks fine so far. Okay. Then we're gonna kind of go down and do the back part of them. Again, they're kind of the like flamingo-like. No, you need to slant. Look at the picture, he said. You need to slant. Their bodies are kind of slanted because they're so tall. So if yours is too up too, you need to go down. Oh, okay. now it looks like a, a duck. It's like a silly duck. And don't worry about putting in too many details yet. We're just doing the the outline basically right now. The head, we're gonna go back up to the head and do the other side of the body now. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna go and do the beak. That looks like a duck. There, you need to slant more, love. Look at the picture, look how it's slanted. Duck. They have long slanty bodies. Their beaks are pretty long. So, you want to kind of do something like that so far, okay? Again, it doesn't look like much yet, but it will. Their heads are super flat. Um, they have a little thing underneath. I don't know what the technical, technical name for it is, but how they catch the fish and stuff underneath their chins. If y'all have this picture, you can kind of, if you zoom in on it, you can see it under the beak a little bit. But again, that's kind of a later detail that you can kind of put in. So once you get a bit of a head made, you're going to finish the rest of the neck. Isa, I need you to stop interrupting, okay? Make the beak first and it'll help you. Look at Sophia's here. Sophia, yours is way too short. Your body is going to come down here. So then the head, the neck, they have these long, crazy necks. So kind of something like that. Okay. See this girl? Mm -hmm. so if you had, yours, your head looks good. You're just going to need to make your body come way down and then your legs will be off the page like this Ew. one. Okay. Oh, okay. Isa, that looks fine. You just make it a skinnier neck. That's a fat, a fat necked crane. So then from here, y'all can finish the bodies and their bodies, they have pretty skinny bodies. That drawing that I did last night, it's a little fluffier than what most of them look like. <laughs> but hi guys. So this kind of a body like this, basically to start out with. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing with their drawing? This is, <laughs> this, is this is Issa's. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, <laughs> so after y'all get the body in, then we can go in and add these legs. They have long skinny legs. So this paper, this perspective that I'm drawing right now, it's like it's the zoomed in version. So, oh, sorry, I keep forgetting I don't have a touch screen here and I can't get it to, there we go. So, they have these long, I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> it's not right if it looks like a pelican. Um, Mine maybe you can turn, like maybe you can, Issa, that looks much better. Look, Issa just finished, fixed hers. It looks much better now. Oh, yeah. So Does the, it look like it ate too much fish? No, that did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to do the leg. I'm going to start with the back leg first. And you're kind of going to go, Is that a fish? let me draw it on this paper here, on the back of this paper. But it's kind of something like... Oh, I see that. They have these angled legs, so something kind of like that, but backward. It's 
mirror, it's backwards to y'all, but you're gonna go this way and down to the right. Where do I put I mean, it? to the left and then down. You're gonna go and you're gonna go towards the back with this back leg. It kind of comes out. Um, Wait, is that too short? No, yes, it's too short. You need to make your leg go off the page. So most, I don't know how y'all draw. I draw big, so it's hard for me to draw tiny. If y'all made your picture so that you can fit feet into it, then that's great. My feet are gonna go off the, um, they're gonna mine. go off the page. Sophia's are going off her page also. Mine's super light on Mine's gonna have one, Sophia, two, three, this four, one five, could probably nice have its feet. Toes. The back feet. Like, Sophia can probably add back feet on hers, mm -hmm. but her front leg is probably going to go off. But I had it. You say yours is way too short. It's going to be a short little crane. Don't judge me. And again, you're making a little bit sharper angles with this, and then we'll soften it up in just a minute once we get all these basic, basic like things down. Like this first one? Yeah, that's great. Okay, I like it. So the other leg comes out at an angle and it's going to go, it kind of goes out like, like this, like at the top of it, like a kind of a upside down triangle, um, if that makes sense. Not to me. Like this. Oh, man. Can y'all oh, see? Oh, yeah, I see that. Can y'all see that little thing? No, I'm not painting this. I'm like, they're going to see it. You said that. Those legs, it, they don't have stick legs. You need to give that some two sides on your leg. I thought they have stick legs. <laughs> they don't. And this leg, it kind of bends the same way, but not as an extreme as extreme of an angle. I forgot that we're drawing and this, it's, and we're not. So this um, this body is. Should have made it blind with a really fat body. So if you have that line in your um at the bottom, make sure and erase it if it's going oh, it's through like this. through your legs. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe a little bit more of an angle this way. You say you have the right angle. So can y'all see? They don't have stick legs. <laughs> yeah. Isis had stick legs. It was about to fall over. Can I start, can um, I start mine over? If you want to, but I'm going to keep going. And mine, actually, I can fit the feet on there. I'm terrible with feet and hands. Mm -hmm. These, Sophia actually did good a good little foot on hers right well, I here. I just added some things. And then I was so done. they kind of have like three. Oh, no, they have four. Four oh, little. Oh, they do? Oh. Yeah, they have like, it's like a... Like an extra claw? A claw, and then a claw in the back. I guess that's okay. Is that it? That's fine. Something kind of like, like that. Again, this will get clearer in a minute. Okie dokie. Now, I'm gonna put a foot on this other one also. They have long feet. That one doesn't have very Th this long. This one looks like a noodle. Huh? Mine looks like a noodle. Noodle bird. Noodles. Noodle heron. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go in and add some detail to our bird. So most of the ones that I looked at, other than this picture that I took, um, they been. all had this black area on the top of their head. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then they also have these weird little feathers that come off of the top of their heads. So, um, like, look, look, so look. it's like a little, like a little, oh, like yeah, hairs, but hair. they're, um, but they're uh, feathers. Um, and then that little, you can go in and add that little kind of mark on the top. And you can go ahead and put your, their eye, the eyeball in. Their eyes are just round. Um, I doubt y'all will be able to see this, but I think y'all have the picture. So 
they just have that's really blurry but they just have round eyeballs so I'm gonna go ahead and put it let me move this my, my leg. I can see that let me see where's my head at here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the eye right about right here and then they have a pretty defined pupil also um, and then they have um, these markings around their beak also. Um, again, this was m most of the ones the I saw had this. Super big. But this is, no, it's okay. Okay. This all go, I'm using this picture. If you have a different bird, then you can use what whatever that bird has on it. Okay, so there I got some little marks on there, so I have reference. I can't, um, make, I can't make eyes like that. So, <laughs> the other one is no, better. I okay, want it to be flying. Okay, put it down. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out now. We're going to go in and add some feathers and things. Again, I want you guys to pay attention to where this bird has darker areas and lighter areas. The front of the bird is white and it has these long all of these blue herons have these crazy long feathers like this <laughs> they have these long feathers that go kind of down their front um also which is kind of cool your eye is creepy <laughs> it's all gonna get fixed when we start shading and I stuff i can't make an eye like that look good that looks good sophia how do i make wings the, their wing is all right here. So we're going to go in and we're going to add some more detailed, um, some more defined like tail feathers. I'm going to go in and erase some of these extra lines and clean up my lines just a bit. There we go. Some more and make this one go down. So I want you guys to pay attention to where the light, the light and the dark is on the bird. Down at the bottom, they have these tail feathers that come out. Then they have one, their big, their big wing is right here on this because we're looking at it from the side. So you can kind of just do kind of a reference point for that. And then this one had a crazy feather happening back here, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna draw in the front little light area here. Isa! It's gonna be rainbow. It's gonna be rainbow. That's all right if yours doesn't have a tail. Look at Isabella's. It's like I it's, it. hold up. It's like a fairy bird. It's, so about it's, the blue, to, it's the blue heron of the century. All right. So I'm drawing in this white area here just again for reference right here, this part right here, so I know where things might change when I start to go in a little darker with a pencil or if you want to use the, um, if you have a, a fine point pen, um, then you can go back in with that. I'm also gonna start adding some of these feathers in here um, and then start adding. Can y'all see what I'm drawing or is am I just, I can't, I can't even tell. Um, I'm also gonna put areas on the legs. The legs had shadows on them, so the top of the legs looked darker and then there was a light here and then it got then there was another shadow down towards the um, the bottom of the legs. So I'm going to kind of create that as well. There we go. Okay. Now it's definitely a fairy crane. A fat fairy crane with a, with a belly button ring. Isa. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be rainbow. It's beautiful. If you couldn't tell Isabella's my my um child that likes to um she goes rogue a lot of times and 
she makes up her own crazy bird here. Sophia's, Sophia's my one that likes to try to make things look like they're supposed to look. She's I like my, Issa. She's my more, my realist. Issa's my, my crazy one here. So I'm just going back in and I'm adding some of this detail that's down underneath the bird. Kind of look underneath it. There's some feathers. Let me zoom in again here. It's oh, that's more, the... that's real zoomed in. Ooh. This thing is not cooperating Ew, for that me. Looks weird. So right down underneath, like right where the legs meet and the body meets, there's some kind of fluffy feathers underneath there. And the tail wing is, you can see the tail, the tail feathers, not wings, when sorry. When you look at it zoomed up like this. Can we see yours or the bird pick? Yes. So here, here's my one that I did. Can you see? And you see that. And then here's here's what I've done so far. So I just kind of went in and did like some little like this right here, little fluffiness. Why are you crying for? <laughs> Can you see it or no? Huh? Who's crying? Let me go in here also. Is it in front of it? Yeah. Yeah. He said nobody <laughs> wants to see yours. Who's our color line? Okay. Do y'all kind of get the idea now? So you're just going in. I believe I have this entry. And I'm going to make this a feather. I'm going to start using the pen in a minute. And hopefully y'all will be able to see it better. I don't know how to make it brighter in here. Or else we'll have to do the next one outside. Because the light in here is terrible. Terrible. It's terrible. Daddy blue. Okay. Mine needs to be longer, so I'm going to add some feathers down at the bottom. Can you see that? This looks weird right here. Okay, good. Okay, I am going to start going in with the pen because I feel like y'all will be able to see that better. Y'all can continue with your pencils, or if you want to use a pen or colored pencil, then that is, that's great too. Um, but I feel like y'all will be able to see it better with a pen. Sorry, these are Sophia's pens. I gotta figure out which one I'm gonna use here. They're all the same. No, no, they're not. They all have different tips. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just start at the top here and kind of work, work in some of that black area here. Can you show us your drawing? Yes. The one I'm doing right now. That one. This one. I wish I could prop this. Maybe I should just prop this up for you. Let's move that. Is that better, y'all? That way you can see. Instead of, because nobody can see that picture anyway. And I'm going to try to show you my drawing. I'm gonna do a few things here on the head and then I'll show you what I did.
And if you don't have a, a black fine point pen, you could use a Sharpie also. Just don't press down as hard and you'll get good lines. I'm gonna go in and make the, like do these little details around the face. That way hopefully y'all can see them better and around the beak. So that's kind of what I've done so far. And again, you can be kind of loose with this also because it's a bird, they're not stiff. So I'm gonna go in and add this little. When you're putting in detail with the pen, it's all in the way you, you press and your marks that you're making. If you want a solid, yeah, that looks good. If you want a solid area, you can fill in, like obviously the whole thing with the pen. If you wanna show um, different um, gradations of color, um, meaning from the light to the dark. Oh Lordy, there's Isa's. Um, yeah. It's beautiful, love. Uh, yeah. You could do, you can go lighter with the pen or you could do some um, cross hatching um, or line work so that you can kind of give the idea of gray um, and white. Um, the birds are, I mean, they're gray and white and black. So. They're beautiful creatures. So I'm gonna kind of go down and do that kind of all over here. And again, I'll probably go back in with my pencil too to create some shading. If you're doing it just with pencil, then it's all in the pressure of your pencil. If some of y'all have drawing pencils, then, um, definitely use your drawing pencils and go go use the numbers if you have all the bees there they are the softer leads um so the um so they'll be darker if you use the h's those are the harder leads so they'll be you a little bit if lighter you use the number two. um the hb is kind of your in between of both it's almost like a um, number two pencil so but you can get some really nice effects just with by using a number two pencil and the amount of pressure that you're putting down will create different shades of um gray So I'm just gonna go in and start filling in some of these areas with that this line right here, this was all black that kind of divided where that, uh, where the white started and the gray ended. Um, that was like a really dark line on the bird. So I'm gonna go in and do that. I'm gonna go back over here. I'll, pull, I'll show you all my picture in one minute. Compared to mine. What? Your guys just compared to mine. You can't compare it to. You just do your best. I like those wings. You don't compare. Yeah. This is a wing. Beautiful. There's these. So it's colorful. Karen. I want the stick legs. Okay, so here is what I have so far. Doesn't look a whole lot different. This can be like 
a process depending on how much you want to put into it. So I'm going to go in and just kind of fill in some of these areas. I'm going to do some little lines here. I'm going to move this back down a little bit so y'all can see kind of what I'm doing here. The background in this picture, y'all can change up your background if you want to. The background of this picture was all water, so um, in this area right here, I'm going to do some kind of cross-hatching and kind of think about the way the bird um, is faced um, when you're doing that so that the angles are right. So kind of put your lines to an angle. So, something like that. <laughs> Fat legs are all right on your bird. It'll help it stand better. You wanna show them your Sophia? Can y'all see what Sophia's doing? That's hers so far. So she's just kind of going in, putting light and dark. And again, this is however much you want to do till it comes out how you, you know, you're happy with it. connected to its its body. It needs the the pants need to be connected to the body. Okay. You say I shall do. Remember to create that shadow underneath your legs because it's under the bird and there was light in the picture, so you can pay attention to those things there. I'm kind of going fast on this one, so we're not here all day. I know y'all get tired of watching me. <laughs> but you can go back. You will be able to go back to it, hopefully, and kind of like stop and pause it. So do you see how I'm going in and I'm adding little areas of light and dark, trying to? They are his leggings. Beautiful. Look at his leggings. Those are beautiful. Rainbow leggings. Okay. Just skin tight. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my line in the underneath the bird here in the foreground. He was walking along the jetty um, there and he was just about to step off the edge and fly away. And then she took a snap. So with the edge here, this one I made shorter than this one, but you know, it's gonna be kind of darker up in the in the front like where it's gonna drop off because it's a ledge. Um, so you can just do some kind of line work too. Give the illusion of that. And again, do some hatching. I'm 
until you get all the way down. And you could go back in with your pencil too. When you're shading with your pencil, remember to go down on the side and then you'll get softer lines that way than if you go like straight up with your pencil. If you want a nice hard line, then go straight up. Um, but if you don't want a nice hard line. But if you, you want to keep it kind of soft, again, it's all about the pressure. Look at the rest. So I'm just kind of filling in my bottom ground here, my foreground around my bird. Line. And think about the way that this is angled and how your lines would be. They need to be kind of angled also so that it all looks the same. So again, in the background, you can kind of add what you want in the background. If you want this, this water, which could have been done a little bit better. Is this a blue herring? Uh-huh you can go in and just start making little uh, waves in the background. I'm gonna darken up some of the wings it's here. Heron, H-E-R-O-N. H? I can't do it right now. Why do you need to spell it? Because I'm buying the pan. So, Here's what I have so far. Now y'all can go, like I said, as far with this as you want. You can keep on, keep on adding detail. If you want to, don't forget these long, whether you're using pencil, crayon, colored pencil, whatever you're doing, um, just beautiful. <laughs> whatever you're doing, H-E-R-O-N. Too fast. H-E-R-O-N. Don't forget to, I don't remember what I was saying because of my child here, sorry. Oh. Um, Don't forget to add in these crazy long yeah. feathers that they have in the front. So, if you want to put this watery background, all I did was kind of start and kind of make my way across the waves were bigger up in the front, so I tried to make it look like that and then got kind of smaller little scribbles in the back there. But kind of go in the same, in the same. You can do this with your pen or your pencil and then go back over it if you want to, but just kind of keep doing that. Um, so I'm sure yours looks amazing. Max, is that you? I want y'all to send me your bird pictures when you get done with them so I can see them. Um, so you can just keep doing kind of something like that all the way up your paper. Um, there's some of the detail that I did. Do you see that? Can you see that all up close, guys? Um, and I could do a lot more. Um, there's my, my eyeball. Um, oh, I know what I didn't finish the face here. They have this gray around there, gray and black around their beak. I'm done. Beautiful. Or y'all can make yours like pieces and be totally creative with it. Oh, let's see. <laughs> very blue hair. Wear some skin tight. Okay, Issa. Um, so 
that's kind of what my face looks like, body, the ground, and then I started the waves here in the background. Here's Sophia's, and she did a lot of the same little marks, and she has her little feet and her face there. So this is y'all's drawing, so you make it your own and make it how how you want it to look. Um, I don't ever like to tell, like I want people to be free with what they're doing and not have it look exactly like mine. I just like to guide you. Anyway, um, I, I hope that y'all enjoyed doing this. Um, I'm gonna put this back up here. Oh, there I am real close again. Send the pictures. Um, send me y'all's pictures. You can keep at this. Um, like I said, you can go as far with this as you want. Isabella, Christina. Um, you can go with this as far as you want. You can add, keep on adding lots and lots of details. This one, last night, it took me about, I don't know, 40, 40, it took me about 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer to do it. Um, because I kept going back in and adding, adding things to it. But, um... Y'all just have fun with it, and then send me send me your pictures um, when you get finished with it, and I will try to do something else in the next days. I'll probably do something for um, the little biddies uh, probably in the morning tomorrow maybe, um, and then maybe something else in the afternoon. We'll see, but I hope y'all have fun with this. Bye.